Hello everyone, I'd like to welcome you to this video titled Area of Other Polygons and what I would like for you to do is get out your math and focus books and turn to page 191. Get out your math journal pencil and you'll need a calculator with this as well. So what we're going to take a look at today is we're going to be dividing polygons into triangles and also we're going to find the area of a regular polygon by dividing it into smaller shape, shapes. So let's go ahead and look at this together. And I want you to turn to page 192. So we're just going to work through a couple problems in the video today. So on page 192, it says Lewis drew a kite as shown below. He divided the kite into two triangles, P and Q, and find the area of the kite. So we can see trying to find the area of this kite can look a little tough. But if we can divide it into two triangles, and we know the area for triangle is one half times base times the height and so what we're going to do we're going to divide it into two triangles and find the area of both and then from there we'll be able to find the area of the kite so we can see a couple things here first of all we have the base of each triangle is going to be 10. okay so you can see the base of the triangle that would be here on the top would be 10 and it's going to have the same base going down that way as well we also have some measurements we can see the height is four we also see the height of the total kite is 16 so we'll get to that here in just a little bit so let's take a look at the first triangle or the triangle on the top so what we have we have our formula one half base times the height and we have one half the base is going to be 10 that we can see here Okay, 10 is going to be the base because we see that measurement there. So let's write 10 in your book. And then we can see the height is going to be 4. Why is it 4? Because pretty easy to see there, the height is 4. All right, so the 4 is the height. And what we have is 1 half times 10 is going to give us 5 times 4 is going to give us 20 inches squared for that type that top triangle. Now that's triangle P. Let's take a look at triangle Q. This one's not as easy. So first of all we can see the base. But before we look into the base let's just take a look at the height because we've got to figure out the height of that triangle. It's not going to be 16. Don't be fooled by the 16. That's the height of the that's the total height of the kite there or the length of the kite, whatever you would want to say. But what we need to understand is from this section on up, we can see that's 4 inches. So that means if the total is 16 inches, we're going to take 16, subtract 4 of, from it, and that's going to give us 12 inches there for the height of the Q triangle. I hope that's clear. We just took 16, subtracted 4. So now we know the base. If we keep on moving down, the base is going to be 10 is the base for both triangles is 10. And then we can see the height is going to be 12. So we have our 12 there. This represents 12 now. 1 half times 10 is 5 times 12 is 60 inches squared. So we can see area for P triangle, 12 inches. I'm sorry, 20 inches. Area for Q triangle 60 inches squared and what we do now is just add the two shapes together 20 plus 60 and that's going to give you 80 inches squared there so the area of the kite is 80 square inches now we're going to take a look at finding the area of a pentagon let's turn to page 196 so this is going to be the next shape that we're going to look at so it says, Brian drew a regular pentagon with equal sides of six inches. He divided the pentagon into five identical triangles and measured the height of one of the triangles to be four and one tenth inches. Find the area of the pentagon. So we need to understand the base and the height for each triangle. And then from there, we can find the area of the pentagon. So we can see, remember that the area for Formula for area of a triangle is one half base times the height. So we're going to plug in the numbers in the formula. So we take one half. The base, what we're going to see there for each triangle is going to be six. 
Where am I getting that from? The base is 6, which is right here. What's the height? Remember, the height has to be perpendicular to its base. 1 half times 6 times 4.1. And again, this is just finding the area of one triangle. So we multiply 1 half times 6 times 4 and 1 tenth, and that's going to give us 12 and 3 tenths inches squared. So that's just for one triangle. Now if we want to find the area of the pentagon, what we're going to do is we're going to multiply the area of one triangle times 5. Why is that? Because we have 5 triangles in our pentagon. Now what we're going to do, just plug in the numbers there, 5 times 12 and 3 tenths. And then we have the 12 and 3 tenths times 5 is going to give us 61 and 5 tenths inches squared. So we can see the area of the Pentagon is 61 and 5 tenths square inches. And again, what we do, we find the area of one triangle. Then we multiply it by 5 because there's 5 triangles in the pentagon, and that gives us the area of the pentagon. So this concludes the video on Lesson 10.3, Area of Other Polygons. If you have any questions about this concept, please come and see me.